Most people fall into this trap when going through skincare and having acne, and I was one of them. Needing to buy the best face wash, the best moisturizer, the best exfoliator, the best vitamin C serum, whatever you can name, you would fall for it. As a young kid growing up with acne, bro, this was the number one thing that I needed to get off my face. And this is the, one of the biggest struggles I had felt growing up as a younger kid. The feeling of wanting to get everything off your face as soon as possible, no matter what it takes, what price it is. This is how you will fall into this trap. I'm 20 now. I'd say I started having acne from when I was at least 14, 13, 14. So for about six years, six, seven years, I could say I experimented with 30 to 40, 50 products, different products that I tried throughout all of these years. Number one thing that I can tell you right now is to stay on the exact same routine that you're on. And what I could tell you right now from all of these years that I've learned is that most progress you will make on your face is when you're staying on the exact same one that you're following right, right now. See, you got to give this time. Acne is not something that's just going to go away within one day. For the most part, though, if you have oily skin, go grab a cleanser that is for oily skin. Grab a moisturizer that is for oily skin. Grab an exfoliator that is for oily skin. That's as simple as it gets. You do not have to grab this vitamin C serum. You don't have to grab this, this African black soap. All of these products that will keep your mind brain fucked. Stick with the three basic things that you need. A cleanser, moisturizer, and exfoliator. I was brainwashed into thinking that all of these things used to work. I remember putting aloe vera, this, that, all of these face masks, everything like that. Black nose strips, literally peeling off my skin, this, that. So many different things. Like, you don't really need all of that shit. You really just don't. That is just for like hydrating to give your skin more glow. It's not to fight severe acne. That's the thing that most people don't understand. These cute little face masks that everyone is using, all of that, a lot of it is not going to kill cystic acne. It's not going to kill extreme acne that you have. So save your time. You don't have to be doing this, man. If you want, maybe once once a week on a face mask, but it's not going to really do anything for if you have severe acne. If you just have the cute little pimples, dots over here, and you want to say that you have severe acne, then yeah, that might work for you. For people with severe acne, with, face, with their faces literally covered with acne, huge pimples, everything like that. Do you really think a little ass face mask that you leave on for 20 minutes thinking that you're doing something is going to do you justice? I have to come off a little harsh because this is something that I didn't understand as a kid. I was manipulated by TikTok, Instagram, growing up on social media, just looking at all of these how to get rid of acne, this, that, all of these videos and everyone giving different fucking advice and all of it not really making sense. These companies are making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars each month, each year off of dumb fucks like us that we're doing this. Sorry to tell you, this is just the cold hard truth of how it was. They want you to go buy this ooh, new vitamin C serum. This is this is going to do something for your skin. Oh, buy this African black soap. Buy this cleanser. Buy this soap. Buy All this is going to do is fuck up your skin even more. For one month, you're trying this cleanser out. Then the next month, you're trying this African black soap. Then for this month, you're doing vitamin C serum. This all, like, all of this shit is all out of whack. All you have to do is stick to one routine for a little while and you will start to see progress. Trust me. And lastly, I, I saved this for last. But the real way to get rid of your acne is from the inside out. It's what you're putting into your body. Growing up, I never really heard anyone really prioritize their diet as much. So I did not hear a lot of people say, oh, your face is really looking like this. It's because of your diet. It's what you're putting in your body. You are what you eat. This is 100% true. People do not realize this. The people that really want to get rid of their acne, it is your diet that's going to do it for you. Changing up all of the dairy products that you use, milk, yogurt all of this shit that is gonna fuck up your face you have to stay away from it the candy the sugar the hershey bars whatever you like you know what you like the ice cream all of this garbage stay away from it if you're truly 100 percent in on wanting to get rid of your acne stay away from the dairy all of the garbage the candies the sugary juices all of these juices that you drink throughout your day you have to stay away from it especially when you're a kid growing up you just want to eat candy the sour patches all of this shit you really want to get rid of your acne and change your face you have to adjust to these things and like i said in my previous videos i know a lot of people that can eat as much garbage as they want and they they won't, won't get a single pimple on their face but you go ahead and try that go eat all of your pizzas go eat all of your dairy keep doing the things that you're doing right now your face is still going to be fucked up you have to realize you have to change something you have to take extreme measures of being healthy and this shouldn't even be extreme drinking 
five to six bottles of water a day is not extreme. I'm sorry to tell you. Our body's supposed to get at least a gallon of water in a day. And but the thing with this is cleaning up your diet, cleaning up the foods that you eat, right? If you're going to get any sugars, you should be getting sugars maybe from fruits, not from these candies, these artificial candies with all of this fake shit in it. You shouldn't be wanting to eat that. The fast foods, stay away from the fast foods, are only processed foods. They're not going to do anything beneficial to your body anything nutritional for your body these things are just it's called fast food for a reason you go in order a fries for two bucks and a burger for three bucks and boom you have a meal and that's why it's a little bit more expensive to eat healthier because you're not going to get this garbage that everyone else is eating look at how these people look too let alone for the face they could have a clear face fuck all that look at their bodies 300 350 pounds looking insane that is what fast food does to people. Look at everyone else. Do you want to be like everyone else? I'm sorry. I do not want to be 350 pounds and I put my pride and my soul into that. I will never, I will never touch that weight in my life. I don't care what happens to me. I will never let that happen to me. Sorry. And the real reason why I'm being harsh on following your diet and getting a healthier lifestyle is because I know people within my life, bro. They, 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 they eat garbage all day. Straight garbage, processed foods dairy whatever it is milkshakes all of this garbage disgusting foods that are not going to be beneficial to your body and then they want to come complain to me about how do i get rid of my acne i tell them what to do and they do not listen and the acne is not even as bad as mine ever was and they still don't want to listen not knowing that changing your diet and the way you eat will literally change your life and your energy levels everything about your life will be better because you are what you eat if you eat garbage you are garbage if you eat healthy, you're going to be healthy. Your body's a vessel. You are what you eat. You cannot be eating garbage and expecting to feel 100% every day. Expecting to have beautiful, clear skin while you're eating garbage that is fucking up your face. Know this. You have to understand this. I want to drill this into your brain. You have to realize this. Because all of these acne people on, on social media, they're giving all of these tips and everything like that. They do not prioritize your diet. They don't do it. They try this one cleanser. Oh, it doesn't work. So I'm going to get a new cleanser. Ha ha, I'm going to get this new cleanser. Oh, this one doesn't work. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure to give it to these people and make sure that they know, oh, this one is garbage. It doesn't work. How doesn't it work if you're not doing anything else? You just think, do you really think a face wash is supposed to clear off every single thing off your face? All of this horrible acne that you have, you think a little face wash is going to do it? Or do you think your diet and changing your lifestyle will do it? Trust me, I know this for a fact. I went through Accutane, bro. Still eating like garbage. And my acne came right back, eating like garbage, smoking, doing all the bad things, smoking at least three to four times a day, weed, doing all of this dumb shit, all of this nasty shit. I was eating candy, sugar, all of this. I didn't get a single breakout because my Accutane was in my body. But once it got out of my body and I was eating like this and smoking like this, doing everything possible to fuck up my face, it showed. It showed. It came right back. My acne said, Patrick, you had to change it up, bro, because look at how we looking. It came right back full force, showing that you didn't change shit. Change your lifestyle or your diet. You didn't, you don't, you, you didn't want it as, as bad. I still have some blemishes on my face till this day. I'm not going to lie to you. But my acne, ever since I've been taking care of my diet and everything like that, has never looked like how it once was. Never. And I won't allow it to because I understand this shit now. If you're a younger kid, you have to realize you have to eat different foods. You have to drink these waters. Drink water for every single meal. Stop drinking juice. You really want to get rid of acne that bad? You have to take extreme measures. And honestly, drinking five bottles of water a day is not extreme. To me, that is like the bare minimum. I drink at least like eight a day. This is why I'm so passionate about this skincare shit because I see so many people that really complain about skincare and everything like this, but won't change their diet. Diet is the number one thing. You are what you eat. If you eat like garbage, you're going to look and feel like garbage. If you eat healthy, you're going to look and feel better. That's just as simple. It's just that simple. It actually bothers me, especially seeing this on YouTube and all of this. Oh, I have severe acne. Oh, my acne is this, that. But if I go into your diet and see if you're really checking off everything that you're supposed to be eating every single day, I, I will see and I can tell that you're, you don't want it as bad. Sorry. Sorry to tell you. So stay yourself. Stay 300. Whatever you do in life, trust me, I believe in you, bro.